Hey, welcome back to another walkthrough. For this walkthrough, we're looking at PowerPoint 4G film production. Let's get started. We'll go ahead and click on our materials here. And download materials. And remember, do not download all files. Make sure you download each individual file. And then go ahead and open up your student file. And make sure you hit enable editing. All right, for step number one, it wants us to download our file and it wants us to save this as a PowerPoint template. So let's go ahead and save this as a template. And what a file, what a template does is it allows you to save a file that you can use as a mold for future files. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the file tab here, hit the save as button. Under my save as here, where it says PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to hit the down arrow and I'm going to do a PowerPoint template right here. And then go ahead and hit save. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to change the master slide. So first we need to get into our master slides. So I'm going to come up here to my tabs. I'm going to go to my view tab here. And from my view tab, I'm going to click on slide master under master views. And this is going to come up with my master views. So what I want to do is on the basis slide master, which if you scroll up a little bit on my slide selector here, your basis slide is this top one right here. It is the template for all of the slides below it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that basis slide. So once I'm on this basis slide, it wants me to change the background to style two. So to change the background to style two, I'm going to come up here to my background grouping here where it says background styles. I'm going to click the down arrow and I want to select style number two, which is this second one right here. I also want to format the background with a gradient fill linear type. So I'm going to come back up here to my background styles, click the down arrow, click on format background. It'll bring up my format background sidebar here. I want to click on gradient fill. I want to position my gradient stops right here. I want to select stop number two. I want to change the position to 25. And I want to select the third one right here. I want to make it 75. And what that does is it changes the gradient level on how fast or how quickly it changes to different colors on the background. It also wants me to set the color in the eighth column. So where it says color right here, I want to click on color. And it says the eighth column, third color. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it says blue and it says the third one. So one, two, three. So it looks like this aqua accent for lighter 60%. Go ahead and click on that. And it wants me to apply this to all slides. So I'm going to come down here and I want to click apply to all. All right. So I'm done with this side panel here. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Now for step number three, it wants me to change the color of the first bullet to the eighth column last color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click and right here where it says edit master textiles, I'm going to highlight this edit master textiles right here. And I'm going to come up here to my home tab under my home tab. I'm going to click on the down arrow next to bullets. I'm going to select bullets and numbering. And it only wants me to change the first bullet. So it wants the eighth column last color. So I'm going to click on color here. Three, four, five, six. So it's this blue color, last color. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And notice that the only dot that should be blue is that very first one. So now we want to go to step number four. It says on the 
uh, title and content layout. So I'm going to go ahead and find my title. This is my title slide. This right here is my title and content. So it's the third one down. I'm going to click on that. It wants me to insert a text box in the lower left hand corner. So I'm going to come up here to my insert tab. Under my insert tab, under text, I'm going to click on a text box. It wants me to insert the text box in the lower left hand corner. So right here is the lower left hand corner, right about here. I'm just going to go ahead and click and draw a text box. I'm going to fix all the width and height and everything in the next steps. So once I've put it down here in the left hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and click inside of it. Make sure my cursor is in there and I'm going to type in Thompson Henderson Law Partners. It wants me to change the font size to 12 points and apply bold center. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my text here under my home tab. I'm going to change it to 12 point. I'm going to apply bold and center. Now for step number six, it wants us to change the height of the text box. So I'm going to go ahead and select the outer border of my text box to make sure that the lettering is deselected, but make sure the text box is still selected. I'm going to come up to my format shape here. I'm going to change my height to 0.5. I'm going to change my width to 6. It wants me to use a shape fill to add gradient with a light variation of linear down. So I'm going to come up here to my shape format and where it says shape fill, I'm going to click on shape fill and I'm going to do a gradient and under light variations, I'm going to find linear down, which is the second one in. So when I align the text box to the center bottom of the slide, so I'm going to come up here to my shape format where it says align right here. I'm going to click on align, align center, and then I'm going to click align bottom. All right, now it wants me to hide the footer on this slide. So we're gonna come up here to our slide master tab here and under layout master, we're gonna uncheck where it says footers. Next, it wants us to remove the header from the handout master. So we're gonna come over here to the view tab and we're gonna go ahead and click on handout master. And here it wants us to hide the header. So we're gonna come up here to our placeholders and we're gonna uncheck header. And then we're going to go ahead and close our master view. So now notice that because we changed our master slide, notice now at the very bottom of each of our slides, we have the text box that we put in and notice that our dots are now blue. So now it wants us to, for step number seven, to insert a header footer on the notes and handouts tab. So we're going to come up here to our insert tab here under our text group. We're going to click on text box or we're going to click on header footer. We're going to click on our notes and handouts. We're going to put a check mark next to date and time. We're going to make it fixed. We're going to put a check mark. Make sure the check mark next to page number and put a check mark next to footer. And let's type in 4G underscore film underscore production and make sure you capitalize the F and the P and then go ahead and hit apply to all. So now for step number eight, it wants us to revise the document properties. So let's go ahead and go to our file tab here and under the info group, we're going to go ahead and click on show all properties. In the subject box, we want to type in CGS. In the tags box, we want to type in film production, all lowercase. And where it says go series as the author, let's right click on that, hit remove person, and then let's add our name as the author. And let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and save as. 
And let's go ahead and change this back from a PowerPoint template. Let's go ahead and change this to a regular PowerPoint presentation and go ahead and hit save. So now for step number nine, it says on slide one. So let's go ahead and click on slide one. And now it says after presented, let's go ahead and put our cursor after presented, go ahead and hit enter and type in university film production class. Now it wants us to go back to the slide master. So I'm going to go ahead and come back up here to the view tab under the view tab. I'm going to click on slide master and it says on the title and content. So let's go ahead and find our title and content, which is the second one down right here on the title and content layout slide. It wants us to change the first level bullet to hollow round bullets. So let's go ahead and highlight this edit master textiles here. Let's go to the home tab under the paragraph grouping, click on the down arrow next to bullets. We're going to click on bullets and numbering and we want to change it to hollow round bullets right here and go ahead and hit OK. And notice that it now changes it to a hollow round bullet. And let's go ahead and close out of our master slide. So I'm going to click on my slide master tab here and click out of close master view. Now let's go ahead and go to slide number four. It says after the third bulleted item. Let's go ahead and click after our third bulleted item here. It wants us to add a comment. So we're going to come up here to our review tab. Under our review tab, we're going to click on new comment. And under this comment, we're going to type in define sole proprietorship. Make sure you spell it correctly. Make sure you capitalize the letters. Make sure you put the period after the, uh, pro after the end of it. Notice how it gives us a little icon saying that there is a comment there. Now let's go ahead and click on slide number five. On slide number five, at the end of, or let's go ahead and highlight life rights. And then we're going to go ahead and hit new comment here in our sidebar. And we're going to type in explain how this is intellectual property. Make sure you include that period. All right, we are done with our comments, so we can exit out of this side pane here. Let's go ahead and go back to slide number two. On slide number two, it wants us to use the thesaurus to change the payment to compensation. So where it says negotiation of payment, let's go ahead and highlight payment. Let's right click on payment. Let's click on synonyms. Go to right here where it says compensation. If for some reason it uh, brought up that next line, go ahead and just hit enter and it'll take it back down to where it needs to go. Now it says, let's go to slide number three and we want to insert a picture. So slide number three, we're going to go to our insert tab here. From the insert tab, we're going to click on picture and we're going to go from this device and it should be under our downloads folder. And there it is. There's our picture. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and hit insert. And it's going to put the picture in for us. It wants us to, let's go ahead and close out of this design ideas. Let's go ahead and click back on that picture. It wants us to crop the shape using a rectangle diagonal corners. So I'm going to go ahead and come to my format picture. I'm going to come up here to my size group. I'm going to click the down arrow next to crop and I want to crop to shape. And under rectangles, I want to find the one that says rectangle diagonal corners rounded. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this shape here. Notice how it crops it to that shape. We're going to change the height. Let's change the height to 2.53. Hit enter. And let's go ahead and align this picture right and middle. So I'm going to come over here to the arrange group. 
I'm going to click on Align Right and Align Middle. It also wants us to color the, recolor the picture to grayscale. So I'm going to go ahead and come up here to my picture format. From picture format, I'm going to come over to color. Under recolor, I want to find the one that says grayscale, which is the second one over. All right, so now we want to run our accessibility checker. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the file tab here. I'm going to click on the info group here where it says check for issues. I'm going to click check for issues, check accessibility. It's going to come up with one item, which is the picture. So it says suggested alternative text. I'm going to go ahead and right click on my picture and I want to hit edit alt text. And from here, I'm going to get rid of the automatically generated text and I want to type in contracts. So get rid of any text that's in this box, type in contracts, and then we can go ahead and close out of it. All right, so we are done. We're gonna go ahead and save this. We will need to save this to a location that we can find it. As of now, it is saved to a templates file. So we need to go to the file tab here and we need to click on save a copy. And under save a copy, we need to click on browse right here. Notice that it's saving it in the custom office templates. We want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and just save it to my downloads folder. So I'm going to go back to my downloads folder. I'm going to hit save. It might come up with a message that says this file already exists. Do you want to replace it? Go ahead and hit yes. And then go ahead and hit got it. And we're done. Let's go ahead and minimize this. And let's come back to our starting materials. We'll exit out of that. We're going to go ahead and choose our file. We're going to go to our downloads folder. From our downloads folder, we're going to click on our PowerPoint folder here. I'm going to hit open, upload, and submit for grading. And I'm going to go ahead and close my assignment. And now let's see how I did. I'm going to click on my three dots next to my assignment, hit view submissions. And it looks like I got 100%. You go ahead and click on the submission. You can see if you did something wrong, redo it, submit it for the best grade possible. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And like always, have a wonderful day.